G'day everyone, it's Lazarus here, and today I want to talk about the top 5 tank mates for White Cloud Mountain Minnows. When we're talking about tank mates, we mean smaller aquarium fish that are usually able to go in the lower temperatures, because White Cloud Mountain Minnows are a cold water nano fish. Fire clouds can thrive all the way down in 5 gallons, and they can thrive in temperatures all the way down to 4 degrees Celsius, about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need to look for similar tank mates that can thrive in similar parameters, and with that said, let's get into the list. Now I've been keeping my group of White Clan Mountain Minnows with the Ranchy Goldfish for the last year or two. And so today I thought I'd put first up on the list, Fancy Goldfish. So the reason I say Fancy Goldfish is that they don't get too big to eat the White Clan Mountain Minnows. Fancy Goldfish aren't that fast either. Fancy Goldfish can be pretty hard to keep, you need to have a big tank. So when it comes to nano aquariums, Goldfish are certainly not one to consider. But if you do have a larger White Clan Mountain Minnow tank, then you can possibly get some Fancy Goldfish. And the mix of White Clouds and Goldfish is really cool. Alright, so second on the list we have live bearers. I thought I'd just put live bearers all in general because otherwise they just take up the whole list. All four main types of live bearers are compatible with White Clan Mountain Minnows. If you have a small tank, then consider getting endler guppies. So they're basically a wild, smaller version of guppies, but they're still fairly easy to find in most areas. And if you have a larger aquarium, then you can get normal guppies, platties, sawtails, or mollies. Make sure the tank size is suitable for the different types of live bearers you might want to consider. But you'll have a live bearer for every size tank, anywhere that's 5 gallons or above. And they're all really easy to keep, so they're great beginner fish. Just make sure you have harder water with your live bearers for better success, and white clouds can also go a bit higher too, so that'll be fine. So many different types of live bearers to choose from, and many different colors and varieties too. Alright, so next up we have the Cardinal Tetras. These make a great duo and contrast with the White Cloud Mountain Minnows because they both have this pretty cool fluorescent sort of striping. At least some White Clouds do. And it creates a great match because your White Clouds are usually a darker bodied fish, whereas your Cardinal Tetras are bright and colourful. Now when it comes to caring for Cardinal Tetras, they're super easy. A lot easier than your Neon Tetras, although Cardinal Tetras do need a bigger tank size. Since these fish do get to about 4cm each, they are a schooling fish so you're going to need to have them in a school of at least 6. But for Best results have them in a group of 10 so they're great for your 15 to 20 gallon aquariums and they're great for planted aquariums too they look amazing you want to keep the ph at 6.5 to 7 and this is also a ph that white clouds can thrive in as well and so overall i reckon cardinal tetras are a great schooling option to keep with your white cloud mountain minnows Alright, so next up we have the Celestial Pearl Danios, a dream fish of mine, one I haven't kept yet, but is known to be a great tank mate with White Cloud Mountain Minnows. Celestial Pearl Danios have an awesome dotty patterning on their body, kind of looks like a galaxy with all the different stars and the blue coloured body. Now these fish really colour up in a planted aquarium, but they are a bit pricier, so if you are more into the intermediate side of fish keeping and you want something harder, then I do recommend Celestial Pearl Danios, but I don't recommend them for beginners because they're very finicky, they're very shy fish, but they are a great fish to keep with your white clouds because Celestial Pearl Danios, or CPDs for short, can go all the way down to 5 gallons, maybe even a bit smaller, they only get to about 3 centimeters in total, which is tiny. So consider Celestial Pearl Danios, they're another schooling fish, but they'll be a stunning addition to your white cloud mountain mineral aquarium. Next up we have a bit more of an aggressive schooling fish, it's the Amber Tetras, but the reason I put them on the list, and these are the last fish on the list, I keep them myself, and they are actually a pretty aggressive fish, but the thing is, White Clam Mountain Minnows are definitely fast enough to get away from the Amber Tetras, as they're not the quickest fish, and also White Clam Mountain Minnows do love to get chased a lot, I've seen that, and so I reckon your White Clouds will find them very fun, but they won't actually attack the Amber Tetras, because White Clouds are pretty peaceful fish, it's just that the Amber Tetras are going to give the White Clam Mountain Minnows a bit more of a fun time in the tank. Amber Tetra is a really unique looking fish and the males color up really nicely. Females are more dull but they still look great and also males carry a bit more of a forked tail and you can see that's really unique. Now they're also a pretty easy fish to find and they're very hardy too so you don't need to worry too much about water parameters although like most tetras they like a softer to neutral pH but a pretty affordable fish pretty cool to have in the aquarium and probably will do great with white clam mountain minnows. Well there you have my top 5 tank mates for White Cloud Mountain Minnows. Thanks so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and have a great day.